Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Teacup, a cute adventure slash puzzle game developed by Smarto Club, published by Whitethorn Digital and is available for a meager £8.39. So we play as Teacup, a kind of weird half frog slash half human hybrid who loves nothing more than drinking tea and reading. But as has happened to us all, the one time we really fancy a cheeky brown ski, we realise we've run out of tea bags. And for whatever reason, there's no shop to go to in this game, so our adventure is getting tea ingredients in order to drink tea ready for the tea party. Nice. Now, achievements wise, they're all pretty much, I mean, they are all story related, but there are things that you can actually miss in order to progress the story. So always keep an eye and an ear out in, uh, in terms of what I do. But in terms of actual missables, there are no missables, so it's all good. It's a lovely little game, and we can get this done in around 40 to 45 minutes or so. So, with that being said then, let us begin. And like I said, this has happened all too much to all of us. We go for a cheeky brown, no milk, no tea bags, and we end up, well, doing that Homer Simpson. Kids, if you could leave the room for a moment. Fake! Because it, it comes to a point you can never be asked to walk up to the shop either. So, we've all been there, and it sucks. Anyway, move with the left stick, interact with things with the A button, and sprint with the right bumper. And the first thing we're going to do is interact with the book on the table. You can, again, just blast through the dialogue by slipping, smashing, slippity smashing through the um, dialogue. Almost forgot what it was called for some reason. But that gets us our first achievement, and then we can press A to go outside. I don't know why she's so happy for. We've still got that quenchy, bursting deliciousness of tea that we're needing. Uh, you don't have to interact with the letterbox. There are things... You can interact and talk to everyone in the game, but you don't actually have to. There are only certain ones you do have to and you don't. Anyway, we'll come to that in just a bit. We're going to speak to Roy Hodgson right here. His name is Otto, but he looks more like um, football manager Roy Hodgson, the owl. The legendary owl of life. Who got Fulham to a, Euro, a Europa League final? Sorry, sorry, football, boring football talk. Anyway, move all the way to the right and then press the A button and then go to the market on the map. That is why we just spoke to Roy. Now again, we can speak to all the characters here, but there's only one that we need to speak to, and that is Ren, the um, hot little old 80-year-old badger there, just behind the fruit store. And basically, what happens a lot through the game is we need to do tiny little puzzles they they are literally not too difficult at all so for this one this is kind of like a, a tetris type puzzle but it'll be the easiest tetris you ever play so press the a button and then drag it over if you press the a button on something with the buttons below you can uh, turn it left or right so we're going to grab the old tom tartos oh the uh, onions they're not tomatoes jesus christ what am i thinking about and then put it that way, then grab the oranges, make it into like a normal T shape, put that in the top right hand corner. And with the, uh, what in the hell are those, you can't see. Again, we're going to use that as the uh, normal T shape as well. Are they supposed to be radishes or something, or am I being stupid? Anyway, next we're going to grab the um, spring onions, they look like to me. And then a bit of beetroot last, put that as, an, as a wrong way. L, or, uh, what are they? Are they just leaves? As you can tell, I'm not really good at uh, vegetables because I am a fat ball sack. Anyway, that is the easy puzzle done. So thank you for Ren. Um, now basically, with... <laughs> just using our half human, half frog hybrid legs right there. Next, we're going to head up to the pond. So we go left, we head up to the pond. And there's basically, we're going to be doing another small puzzle game. So head left right here. We can't actually head right. 
and then just go over the bridge. Nice, looks bloody delicious. Look at this. Ah, that, that's nice. Anyway, we're going to speak to um, a cocky Salamandro right here. And I call him cocky because he thinks he is incredible when he's actually not. But we are coming up to another sort of puzzle minigame now. All you got to do is just press the, well, as you can see, this the sequence in order on your D-pad. So that this is literally all you got to do. Do it as quick as you can. Beat the guy with the long tail. And everyone is a happy. And that is how you win. I mean, to be fair, like I said, we are half human, half frog, so either we got created in a lab or some guy really, really liked his frogs. I mean, really liked his frogs. Anyway, that'll be for another story. So after we beat cocky old Salamandrianos, we can head back to the left. And basically, he's told us to go to his house. Um, so we're going to head down. As we head down, you can see the map icon appear. Now we can go to a new place called the Meadow. And if we head to the right, we can see there his uh, washing. He, hmm, it's a very interesting choice of things to wear, but here we go. Speak to Salamandro, and he gives us our Mintos, which will give us our first achievement. Could have just given it to us there at the pond, but there we go. For some reason, he's asking a little girl to go back to his house. That's prison worthy, my old friend. Um, luckily, there's no police, apparently, for him in this game. Dirty bastard. Dirty git. Anyway, so you can press the X button if you want there, that just brings up the book and what you need. But for now we're going to head to the Plaza, which is just underneath the market. Now, very important to speak to specific characters here. And the first one is Adora the Explorer, uh, with the tarot cards. And I say they're important, if you don't speak to them, certain characters don't appear in places they're supposed to later on. And you just got to go on this big witch hunt to try and find them. So speak to Adora the Explorer. She's going to tell us a whole bunch of, you know, crap. Mm. Uh -huh. Unless you're going to tell me where my tea is or if I'm going to win the lottery, I don't want to know, Miss Explorer. So you can remain blind. Anyway, make sure you've spoken to her. Head to the left. You can ignore these, but we are going to speak to the guy with the chef's hat on. Again, this is another situation where you have to speak to this guy to get another character to appear later on. So, as long as you spoke to those two, then everything should be golden dandy and up the brandy. So, don't worry about speaking to these guys. We're going to speak to the mouse, though, right here. Old, um, what's his name? Bertol. Sounds more like a medicine or something, doesn't it, for a bad cough. <laughs> so when we speak to the cough medicine mouse, we can head into the yellow building, the carpet shop. More like an, an Aladdin flying carpet shop. And then speak to the dodgy looking cat there, Pankratty. And that sounds more like a Kama Sutra book, this name. These names are fantastic, by the way. So you need to speak to him, basically, in order to, like I said, progress these little bits of stories and progress little bits here and there. Uh, but we should be good to go now. So we're going to head out. We're heading to the right, past everything, past the pink bike, past the old uh, war truck guy with the chef's hat on. And we are heading into the post office now with the big letter on it in the blue and white building. And we're going to come up to another puzzle. So speak to who? I mean, obviously, it would be a pigeon carrier. That would be funny. A pigeon called Vincent. I don't know why that seems so just cute to me. Anyway, a couple of things that we have to do. All you need to do is, um, like I said, select two, two stamps to swap the position to make the picture. These ones are very easy, but skip forward by about 20 or 30 seconds if you just want to see the end of product.
So, with the last one of Maya, I want to suck your blood. We have done that, and so we, we basically sort out this guy's job for him, and he doesn't even give us what we want. What, what is it? What, why, do, why do games do that? Imagine us doing that in real life. Oh, we're just going to nip into town, and then you got the post office guy going, Oh, shit, do you mind doing this for me? He'd be like, go and suck your mum. You can bugger off. Anyway, we're heading to the west of forest. <laughs> Sorry, just getting a... Bit off talk, topic there. Head up the ladder. This is this is close to our house, but we're going to speak to Roy Hodgson, the Otto Owl, and he is the one who's actually going to give us the honey. Um, again, we spoke to you earlier, you cheeky shit snack. Well, you could have given us the honey earlier, but that's okay. You know, we love sorting out other people's jobs for no pay and for a little bit of honey, don't we? That's what we, that's what we're born to do. <laughs> Anyway, out of there, we can now head back down the ladder to the right, and this time we are going to, uh, back to the meadow, which is at the top of the map. We're going to go past the um, very creepy Salamandro, who invited a little girl back to his house. Remember, that's prison worthy. We'll see you in court, Mr. Salamander. And we're going to head to the right. We're going to see this magic tent, though. Um, now, you wouldn't have been able to get in here before, but now we can, so we're going to speak to the uh, magic crocodiles on the left. And basically what this puzzle entails, it's it's kind of like a hidden items sort of game, so you've just got to find things, uh, click on things to find things, and it, it it's really not too bad. So if you just keep spamming the A button going around the, um, going around the map, or you can just carefully follow exactly what I do, I don't think I get it too wrong, too bad, but uh, yeah. So just keep following along here, and generally it's not too difficult. But I'm sorry if it is. Please don't hate me if it is. So for this bit, all you need to do is walk all the way to the right until you speak to the magic crocodiles again. Now, they call this one Dream Tea. What I call this one is Magic Mushroom.
Oh. Oh. Anyway, we've got our magic mushroom infused tea, so <laughs> someone's gonna have a real good time with that tea party tomorrow. Right, so I don't know why I keep opening up the book to be honest, there's really no need. Again, don't you follow me home, Mr. Salamander. Got a court date set for you, you creepy butthole. Anyway, head to the right, this time we're going back to the plaza. <clears throat> Excuse me, not COVID related cough there. And if we head all the way to the left, we're going back into the yellow building. Now we're going to speak to um, the Aladdin Magic Carpet guy again. And remember, if you haven't spoken to the chef guy, war truck, and the woman with the tarot cards, now is the time to do so to uh, get some uh, story progression later on, get some characters in their right positions. Otherwise, head into the yellow infused carpet shop, speak to Aladdin... And then basically what it's going to do, the mini game for this one is, as the carpets are flying past you on the screen, literally just hit the A button on them until the carpets fall. It is as simple as pimple, but it does take a second to um, reload, so keep that one in mind. Now, what's very funny about this is uh, Jasmine, Aladdin, Carpet Tamer achievement. You know, Aladdin and Jasmine from the Aladdin films. <laughs> That's a very clever achievement, that. <laughs> there are quite a few clever achievements in this game related to all types of things which I've already spoken about. So that is funny. But anyway, we're going to head all the way to the left. May I want to suck your blood? And again, we're just heading all the way to the left. To be honest, we could have probably just gone to the right because all we need to do is head to the pond. Um, so we could have just gone to the right, but for some reason, I decided to choose the longest way. Oh, obviously, always remember that you're pressing the right bumper button to... It says sprint, but it's kind of a light, slightly faster walk. Uh, go to the pond, and this time we can head to the right. Now, if you didn't speak to War Truck or Tarwak or whatever his bloody name is, Linden, the guy by the boat, will not be here. So, you have to speak to the guy in the plaza with the chef hat called War Tack or War Truck or whatever his bloody name is. Linden will appear and you're going to have a couple of minutes now where you and Cough Medicine Mouse will go for a little boat ride. There is going to be a little puzzle where you've just got to pick up things out of the water, but it is just... I tell you what, you you have had harder poops. I can tell you that. <laughs> I can tell you that for free. Uh huh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mm -mm. <gasps> mm -mm.
So there we go, that is that achievement done, so now we can head back, uh, sort of to the right, and we're gonna head back to the plaza. Now again, that is story related, remember, if you didn't speak to Wartuck, he wouldn't have appeared, so... Well, you'll probably have done it by now, so that's fine, just fine, that's fine. Right, heading to the plaza next. I'm not entirely sure if this bit was completely necessary to move the story forward. But um, we do end up getting another ingredient, so I do it just in case anyway. So head into the cookie shop, the red shop, where you see Wartrek and Linden, the little bitch. Not a little bitch. Anyway, he's going to give us a cookie recipe. So like I said, again, not totally sure if it was necessary to do this in order to move forward with the story, but it's always uh, good to just in case. So, yep, yeah, thank you guys, you just... Keep making those goddamn delicious looking cakes. Oh my god. It's no wonder. It's no wonder some people like myself are obese and muscular. I'm not fat. I'm just muscular. No, I'm not actually that big. Anyway, so we can head out there. Now we're going all the way to the right. Now we're going to a new part of the map that we haven't been before. And that is the villa on the right hand side. Now for me, it's covered in trees for you. If you haven't been to this side of the villa yet, it would have been empty, but that's fine. We can head to the villa, ignore the builders. Oh, there's always one guy doing F all in it. You do all the work while I stand around. Yeah, sounds about right. Anyway, head into the first house and we're gonna be speaking to this cool cat right here. Gonna be speaking to Olympia. That is genuinely a badass name anyway, Olympia. Cool as hell. And anyway, blah, 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 we're going to speak to uh, Olympia. Basically, we need to speak to some of these characters because they're going to give us a little bit of information, which is why we speak with certain characters and not some of the other ones. But if we head to the right into this little uh, hobbit-looking house, we're going to see the blindest of piano teachers. And again, if you hadn't, uh, she's basically uh, going to give us the hibiscus tea, also known as Agua de Jamaica. Uh, blah 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 all that stuff, but anyway if you hadn't have spoken to the tarot lady a little bit earlier on This dialogue and this would not have happened. So that's why we spoke to tarot lady Orbitos or whatever her friggin name was earlier on, but anyway You speak to her you get the achievement we can now move on we don't actually come back here anymore <clears throat> So now we just head all the way back to the left Now we actually need to get that log that the workers are working on out of the way for some reason though, as we just head to the east forest on the map, for some reason we can't just climb over the log. I don't know why we're a frog, but we can't just climb over a log. Anyway, heading to the right past the trail of ants, we're going to speak to the um, raccoon boys. <laughs> Feels like we caught them in the moment there, sort of jacking each other off deep in the woods. Anyway, when they stop talking, go up. And we're going to be in this little new area. We're going to head to the right. And you can see the shimmer and shine from the plants that we need. So, the Lemon Verbena, also known as Aloysia, Aloysia Citrodora. Yes, I am that language. Peace. Goddamn British people are awful. Anyway, we're heading, <laughs> we're heading all the way up once again. And we're going to go to this new area. And if we head all the way to the right, there is another new plant at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. That is the... Um, whatever the hell the next one is. By the way, I was saying British people are awful at genuine accents if it comes to do with um, any other country in the world. The British people... The British are just the worst at it. Anyway, we found the chamomile now. That was at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Now if we head back to the left, we're going to speak to the ladies on the big rug here. Evangeline and Adele and basically this is going to get us yet another achievement <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. hmm now is it me or is Evangeline quite hot for a frog oh. Crap, recording. Turn off recording. Turn off recording. Oh, hey there, everyone. I didn't just say or think of anything there, so we're going to head all the way to the... Uh, we're going to head all the way to the right now. Oh, boy. And we're going to speak to Camille, who is a bored little um, uh, raccoon thing. 
If I've got that wrong, please call me an idiot in the comments. Not Kalim, Karim. So basically, with this uh, mini game, very easy. Just go up to Karim there in the coffee stop, coffee shop. Press the A button. He's going to give us a coffee. Follow wherever the next customer goes. Press the A button down on them. Then press the A button next to Karim again to get another cup of coffee. And that is literally it. So just keep following everyone. Give them all the coffee. Again, not sure if um, they end up timing out and get pissed off or anything. So. Again, it's just another easy one, so keep following, keep slapping, and try not to spill any on everyone's head. Apparently, hot coffee hurts. I think that we are pretty much too nice. Everyone wants help, and we're giving uh, we're giving everyone help. Why? For what? A bit of basic tea? D give me some money. I want some goddamn money. You have got all these customers? Oh yeah, you get to keep all the money. Strange, strange how life works out. But that is pretty much the reality of our life as well. You do all the work for pennies and peanuts, while lazy people get paid all the most stuff. Jerk offs. So anyway, we've done that, we've, we're all good with this area, so we can head all the way to the left and sort of head down until we get the map icon to appear again, or the footstep icon. But now we're heading to the left, we are all done with this area, and we've only got about, say, 11 minutes left of the game, well, about 10 minutes left of the game now, so tidy as hell, nip past the ants. Again, don't know why we could, j couldn't just jump over them, we are a human frog after all. But we are going to head now to the pond once more. And we're heading to the right this time, next to the lighthouse, where of course we spoke to Lindon. God damn, Mayor, I want to suck your blood, is everywhere. Stay in one place, bro, that is, your job is to literally sit in your ass in your office. And make a couple of decisions now and again. Anyway, we head to the lighthouse, and we're going to head all the way up. We're going to do another very easy minigame slash puzzle. Uh, after we speak to uh, the friendly otter, what's your name? Oh. Rickard. The uh -huh. worst name for an otter, I suppose. Anyway, all it is is literally just placing uh, specific gear cogs into specific locations. So again, fast forward 20 or 30 seconds if you just want to see the uh, finished product. Probably easier to do. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh. 
So that gets us the Rui boss, and now what we've got to do is uh, we're basically heading back to the plaza now. So we're going to head to the right, all the way to the right, go to the plaza. Now this is probably the most. It's still quite easy, but it's the most. It's it's the most difficult mini game slash puzzle in the actual game itself, and it's uh, based on a memory one. But the problem is it's all randomised, which is the problem. So. As we'll be able to see, when we head to the plaza now, we're basically going to speak to the guy on the stage. But what you're going to see is a couple of directional arrows. It, they are going to go off and then you've got to memorise what they were by pressing whatever uh, button it was on the D-pad. The problem is when it gets to 6, it can get potentially a bit difficult. Now, I did get at least one wrong, but it still went fine. So I don't know if the, um, there's a couple that you need to get potentially, you know, whether you get up to 3... Uh, wrong answers or whatever. So what I do was, I, it was even hard to do it this way. But I got a pen and paper. Every time I seen the direction, even every time I seen the directions come up there. So um, we've got what down left right. So I put D L R. Write that down as quick as you can, and then that might be the easiest way. For obviously three and four, it's easy to memorize. But potentially for five or six, it can be a little bit more difficult. So that's the best way I can do it. Quickly write it down. Whatever you see on screen, you can't actually pause it when the arrows are on screen either. Um, which makes it, again, that little bit more difficult. But again, write it all down quick as you can and it should help you through easy. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, that is finally done. So again, so we're, we're, we're post office worker, we're baker, we are roboter, we are actor. To be fair, a lot of things that we didn't know we were good at, we are very bloody good at, apparently. So, and the fact for a frog, we've got nice human legs as well. That's anyway. We're heading back to the villa. <laughs> And as you can see now, the tree stump is gone, so we can actually head up now, instead of all the way to the right. 
Uh, not too far to the right, but uh, we are basically, if there's anything you need to do, you can continue exploring. Otherwise, we're just going to press OK to nip on to old Grandma's house. Now, this is going to take about a minute of beautiful scenery and enjoyment as we try and find our real dad who is in the human world. Again, one of those guys that just really liked his frogs. Damn. Now, there would be nothing worse than going, oh, I wonder where, you, wonder where Grandma's to, and then Grandma is getting pumped by Granddad. That would be, that's even worse than catching your mum and dad in the act, watching Grandma and Granddad get in on the action as well. well. Anyway, luckily, this is not that type of game. We don't see it. <laughs> we speak to Grandma. We have a nice little bit of conversation. Luckily, our Grandma has to be pumped for about, uh, I'd say about 40 or 50 years now. Nobody needs to think of that. But in case you are thinking of that now, <laughs> and I'm very sorry. Anyway, we head to the right. Uh, basically, now this is the last achievement of the game. We have a look at the f uh, the sort of flower pot right here, right next to the door. That's a bit of rose hip. So anytime Grandma's hip goes, she can just replace it with the rose hip. <laughs> I know that's not how that works, so that's fine. So grab that, speak to um your gorgeous little grandma right there. And basically, that is it. That is the final achievement of the game. Now, all you've got to do, um, basically, is just mix all of the tea ingredients together for certain frogs and certain animals and certain people. And then that will be the end of the game. But I don't actually show you that bit because, quite frankly, it started doing my head in. Um, so, all you got to do, is, if you want to get to that bit, just head out the exit door and then you just start putting all the ingredients together. And that will be the end of the game. But... For me, for us, this is it. We've got all the achievements we've needed. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I do hope you enjoyed the game. Hope you enjoyed the guide and that it helped as well. And that we had a good couple of laughs, as we always do along the way. I'm talking about half hybrid um, frogs and our grandma getting pumped and everything. Um, <laughs> but uh, if, it, if the guide did help anyway, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Don't forget to check me out on all my socials as well. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Patreon as well, and a big, huge shout-out, an incredible, massive shout-out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. Mm -hmm. You guys and girls are absolute legends. And a big shout-out to everyone who continues to support the channel regardless. Anyway, and anyone who interacts with me in any way, it is mega appreciated. So, here we go. Thank you so much for watching, guys and gals. I'll see you in the next one. But big love.